Um, so I wanted to come on real quick and share with you guys the importance of setting your own schedule. So if you want your business to give you business results, you need to treat your business like a business and not a hobby, right? And if you if this is a hobby for you, totally fine, right? That's totally fine. Um, however, if you want to um, have a business, you need to show up for work, right? Um, and you need to make appointments in your calendar so you have a place to go to work, right? So if we don't have any shows, we don't have anywhere to go to work. Um, so as I was redoing my schedule, um, because both my kids will be in uh, full-time school starting September, I had to redo my schedule so I knew what my new routine was going to be like. And it is your schedule, you decide when and how often you're gonna work, right? So, um, but go on, so I'll show you mine, but go on, um, just go on Google and search a general weekly template you know just uh like a monday and i know it's gonna be backwards but just a monday through sunday you know 6 a.m to 10 p.m um or if you get up earlier you know find it earlier and that's going to be your general weekly schedule so just like if you you know work full time or if you were to work full time for someone else you would know that nine to five you'd be at work right every single day so when you get a regular schedule like this I want you to think about four things right first of all um, I like to use yellow as family time like sunny right yellow sunny family time um, my pink is going to be my personal time which is the gym for me or it could be you know crafting or whatever it is whatever hobby you have um, green is always like money, right? Income producing activities like cooking shows or Facebook Live. And um, orange for me is office time, okay? So you need to have some sort of schedule that you go by on a weekly basis. So I am sure you know, just like myself, right? In the mornings, I gotta get the kids on the bus. In the afternoons, I gotta get the kids off the bus and I gotta cook dinner, right? So, um, or maybe you have kids in sports, so you know that they have certain things. So certain things every week should be the same for you, for your schedule. And the more, you know, routine this becomes, the easier it's gonna be. So, um, so family goes in here first. What happens with my family on a weekly basis that will always come first? Um, before my job, right? Um, and then you look at, okay, so if I'm going to do cooking shows and I want, um, you know, one show a week or I want two shows a week, when am I gonna do these cooking shows? What are my cooking show dates? Because people will book the dates that you have available, okay? So even if you would have every evening free, you need to pick your dates that you're going to stick to um, so people know when you're available and so you can look at a calendar you can look at August you can look at September and if I know Monday and Wednesday are my cooking show dates and I don't see it green that means I need to get to work okay so you are creating a pattern for yourself which will be easier to follow and um, then obviously if you're gonna do cooking shows right um, you, you I mean whatever you're gonna do you're gonna need some back office time to set up the shows to do follow-ups to do your host coaching to talk to your team however big your team is, right? So um, orange for me is office time, right? So you don't need as much office time as I do. However, you need some kind of back office time. And when you have that set time, it allows you to shut off when you're done, right? There's no pamper chef emergency. It allows you to, um, you know, not look at your phone. It allows you to completely shut off during dinner time or evening time because you know the next day you will be back in your office and there's no pamper chef emergency. Um, and it allows you to take days completely off when you desire um, for you and your family. And the beauty is that this is your general schedule that you're going to follow Monday through Sunday. However, because our business is flexible but not optional, you know, if someone says, hey, the only way I'm ever gonna do a show is on a Saturday, but I technically don't wanna work on Saturday, I might be able to say, you know what, this week I'll do a show on a Saturday night but I won't do it on Wednesday. So my blocks can shift, right? The key is here, the blocks cannot disappear, okay? The blocks cannot just go out the window, they just move around. So it's like Lego blocks that are moving around. So if I'm supposed to have office time, um, you know, on a Wednesday after, during lunchtime, and you know, someone says, hey Claudia, you wanna go out for lunch? And I feel like I'm, you know, not behind on my work, then yeah, I can go out for lunch, but guess what? Then this two hours that I just went away for lunch, need to be plugged in 
somewhere else okay so I highly encourage you guys to Google a general weekly calendar and set it up especially as school you know if you have kids that are going back to school if you just start a new routine and you don't know it anywhere different it's going to be a lot easier and the only way it's going to become a habit is when you do it for at least 30 to 60 days so force yourself and I would love Force yourself to create your own schedule, whatever that might be like. You don't have to do mine, right? This is your business, whatever that might be like for you. Um, and post it below. I, and if you post it below, it just it's just going to give people different ideas of, you know, what, what people's schedule looks like. So, um, yes, uh, go sit back, work on your calendar, because then you know when you're going to work. And it's just, it's a mental thing. It really is a mental thing that's going to make your life easier. So, all right, well, I'll post my schedule below, and I look forward to seeing your guys' schedules.